How can you know if you've never been tested? That is the title for today's Daily Stoic Challenge read. Thanks for meditating with me this Sunday, September 4th. Let's get started with today's quote from Seneca. Quote, I judge you unfortunate because you have never lived through misfortune. You have passed through life without an opponent. No one can ever know what you are capable of, not even you, end quote. The entry reads, most people who have gone through difficult periods in their life come to later wear those experiences as badges of honor. Those were the days, they might say, even though now they live in much better circumstances. Quote unquote, to be young and hungry again, another might say wistfully. Quote unquote, it was the best thing that ever happened to me, or I wouldn't change a thing about it. As tough as those periods were, they were ultimately formative experiences. They made those people who they are. There's another benefit of so-called misfortune, having experienced and survived it. We walk away with a better understanding of our own capacity and inner strength. Passing a trial by fire is empowering because you know that in the future, you can survive similar adversity. Quote unquote, what does not kill me makes me stronger. Nayachi said. So today, if things look like they might take a bad turn or your luck might change, why worry? This might be one of those formative experiences you will be grateful for later. My thoughts on this are, times of adversity are often when we learn the most about ourselves. And it can be easy to be complacent when things are going well, but when we're faced with challenges, we have the opportunity to step up and show our true character. And it can certainly be difficult to stay positive during tough times, but if we keep our chin up and push through, we will usually come out stronger on the other side. Additionally, by facing challenges head on, we have the chance to learn and grow in ways that we never would have otherwise. So the next time I'm facing a difficult situation, I'm always going to remember that it's an opportunity to test myself and just see how strong I really am. In real life example, my partner Chuck has had COVID since Tuesday and it's been life of separation since then and we're heading into Sunday. And what he and I typically split between the middle day-to-day -day responsibilities and things of that nature, you know, it's all fallen on me and I'm not here to say, oh, whoa, me, I'm doing it. I'm testing myself, testing my capacity, but also being mindful of not to overdo it and to pause and take breaks and to also say to myself, I can't do it all at once. But what I am wearing a badge of honor is staying home, keeping up the responsibilities so that he is not sitting here thinking about, you know, oh, I've got to do this with the house and do this with the house. And I'm also testing my new chef skills. Thank goodness for those HelloFresh or Everplate boxes, right? <laughs> Blue Apron, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, before I digress, uh, if you enjoyed today's Daily Stoic Challenge read, stop that like button. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Uh, please follow me and get notifications of these Daily Stoic Challenge reads. Together, 366 meditations on wisdom, perseverance, and the art of living. Stay tuned for tomorrow, Labor Day, Monday. I know, but still tune in. It's only, what, three or four minutes. The title reads for September 5th, focus on what is yours alone. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and as always, stay stoic.